Hello and welcome back. I've had to cut this video into two parts as I was having a bit of trouble loading, getting it to upload. So I hope you enjoy this and stay tuned for part two. Right, so we're going to start here. Um, with the hostas and the hibiscus and hydrangeas and I have a few other things in here as well but I'm not gonna go over every single plant because this video will be <laughs> super long so what I'm gonna do is just do a quick round and then I think I'll try to do separate videos of each section of the garden um, to just go over what's growing. I will also insert previous footage of each section now as well as at the end of the video. So just some paper whites dying back here and hmm, and this hydrangea has a few friends. I'm not sure this sort of looks like a poppy but I think it might be a weed. So I'll pull that out. And then we have a foxglove. And then we have this lovely hosta. Um, an acer. We have a few hibiscus plants growing in here. Um, and then we have our hydrangeas. I think there are three or four in here. And the clematis. I still have, I think, two or three I need to find a home for. And more hostas. I won't go around that corner because it's just mostly storage. Uh, our tulips are dying back. I think these are some of the mid, mid and late tul tulips. The early tulips have already been cut. Have footage of that at the end of the video um, but I still have some of the late ones coming um, and we have some whoopsies we have some lilies coming up and I forget the name of that one but mostly in this corner it's lilies tulips and here I have the ranunculus that I pre-sprouted and planted, was it last autumn? I can't remember, but I'll link the video if you're interested in watching that. It's doing, well, they're doing very well. Look at this. And there I have a lilac next to a hydrangea, some more tulips. There's some roses, anemone. dogwood and roses and on this table I just have some seedlings that I need to up pot because my plan had been to put them in the border when the tulips were done but um, I think I maybe started them too early so now they need a home and the tulips are not done yet so these are cosmos many 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 cosmos seedlings and then i have um straw flower seedlings here and these are poppies which are looking a bit dehydrated 
so I need to water those and this here is stock I believe Let me just grab a tag I burned my hand cooking um yeah this is apple blossom stock I burned my hand cooking over the weekend um so that's why it's wrapped up right so this border I have a video where I planted these tulips many 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 tulips um, I think this is like the third flush this is like the third round of tulips that are coming up in this border um, like I said I'll have video of all of it at the end and here are some pots that I recently purchased at the garden center last week. Um, I still haven't decided what I'm putting in them. I have many things that need proper pots. So yeah, it won't be too difficult to find something to put in there. Um, what else is new? I have two of these hydrangea trees. Um, oh and this is new since i last recorded but i uploaded a video about that already um the swing pergola that my husband built for us now let me see i think i'm trying to decide which direction to go in i think i'll go around this way so uh lots of sorry about the bin liner we have puppies now and I put them in their beds. I'll give you a little peek. Hello, bunnies. Hello. What you doing? <laughs> They're a bit naughty, so I put them in there while I do this video. So that's Max and Lucy. Um, right, so the bin liner is just there newspaper from overnight um so yeah foxgloves here that self-seeded and i need to find a home for another clematis lots and lots of roses very tall <laughs> i can't believe how how big these have gotten and this one okay this one's a climber so i can sort of understand that but this is a shrub that's bring me sunshine shrub. Look at the size of it. They're massive, but it's nice because I have them here under the window so we can see them from the kitchen. Um, so that's nice. I have many, many roses in here, so I am not going to try to name them all. I'm just gonna do a quick um, tour right now. And these are delphinium that I grew from seed. Uh, in January, I think, or is that autumn sown? I can't remember. There's one more here. They're doing really well. They're huge. I did have a little bit of snail or slug damage, but um, it's looking all right. I think they're gonna. F oh, look, the ladybird so sweet all uh, right so lots of roses lots and lots of roses and this I can't I got this plant off of the clearance rack uh, and do you know I up potted the plant and I can't find the tag for it I don't know if it's a tiny wine I think this is too big to be a tiny wine. It was in a proven winner's pot. That's the only thing I remember. Um, yeah. So, moving right along. Um, more roses. Some tulips. 
lovely 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 and i wish i knew the name of them you guys i i had so many tulips that in the end i gave up trying to label everything i just wanted to get them in because it was freezing cold i think i did the bulk of them just before christmas or was it new year's yeah to, uh, after christmas was the last and um yeah so a lot of these tulips don't have names but i have um my purchase orders in my office so if i really needed to go over or if you really want to know the name of something um if you ask me i can go and look it up uh next year i'll do better with labeling more roses this is gonna be a sea of roses here they're all david austin i believe this is mostly to um, bring me sunshine and a uh, golden celebration i actually have some garlic here because i heard garlic keeps the aphids away so i'm trying that um oh looky look Woo! roses soon these tulips i have so many red tulips i don't remember buying this many red tulips i think it might have been an error sorry for the bin um noise in the bin collection happening behind me uh, here's some more tulips oh debbie I, I really wish i had some of them were labeled but um anyway i will carry on um just showing them to you because i have no idea what this one is called but look at these Aren't they pretty? There's some more delphinium planted. Some of the anemones. Some more roses that I still haven't found a pot for. I'm just gonna carry on this down this side and then I'll go around into the greenhouse. So in this corner I have anemones um, they flower later on in the summer so I've just placed them in this corner and there's a grapevine there that I thought was dead but it is not very lovely rose I'm so excited for the roses I think I maybe have possibly 15 new roses um, so yeah this corner has a lot of of my anemones um, oh, probably have done this video a bit later when they're open they're all shut now because it is uh i think 9 15 or something nine in the morning and this here we just put up at the weekend um we just potted this climbing rose next to the kitchen window and i'm going to have my husband build a what do you call that? Uh, one of those things, what's it called? It's sort of like a pergola, but it's a, it goes over the window. It's like a wooden frame. And then I'm gonna have that rose go up over, and I'm, gonna, I'm going to plant another one here to go up and over. So yeah, it should be really nice. And I'm hoping to put a veg box here eventually and down here i have many different seedlings this one looks like it didn't make it that uh yeah verbena that one says i have verbena and some cosmos uh snapdragon Uh, no, those weren't snapdragons. Those aren't snapdragons. These are, um, oh gosh, zinnia. Zinnia, which mostly were eaten, and I need to plant more. There's some china aster. Um, and these are the snapdragon. So, yeah. Let me turn back up. Turn this way. And... I forget what those are called. Um, oh, 
Oh my god, and Jonathan bought me. Sorry, it's a bit of a wreck. I'm still in the process of tidying up all the different areas. Jonathan bought me this climbing hydrangea over the weekend because um, I was feeling a little bit sorry for myself um, uh, because I burned my hand and I don't know, I just had a rough winter but I'm good now so I'll try and get some videos posted weekly I can't promise every day it's just impossible um, but I can try to aim for weekly uh, right here we go roses hookara um, I forget the name of this one but I love those colors together isn't that lovely I am definitely going to um um, get my app and what I'll try and do is just weekly go to each border get the name of everything and then do a video with you that way oh I forgot oh anyway I have to go around in that border let's just do the greenhouse for now now I am not naming everything in here because it's like there are too many different plants in here I have sweet pea China Aster, we have um, Salvia, a few Snapdragons up there, um, more puppies, Petunias. Do you know, I don't even, this down here doesn't have a um, tag. And I can't remember what that is. And it's going to be an interesting summer because there are a few things that I really just need. I'm going to have to wait and see what which flower um pops out um lots and lots of foxglove down there more petunias this is my <laughs> oh that's what it is okay so that's what this is here um that these have been thinned and that's the rest of it. They were all in this tray at one point. I did try Lysianthus. I only have one, two, three, it looks like. Oh, there's a few more popping up. Uh, so, yeah. Um, what's back there? Uh, Lordy. I think, I believe, I can't grab the label because it's so far back. We have some Snapdragon, some more Foxglove. What will I do with all the Foxglove? I have no idea. Um, we have some more Petunias, lots and lots of Sweet Pea that are like screaming to be planted. Lord, next year I'm totally, I am not doing this many seedlings. Um, right, back there I have some Verbena. Um, Angora seedlings on this windowsill. I mean, on this uh, changing table, I have um, what is this? Well, mostly eaten. Um, Debbie, Zinnia, Zinnia. Yeah, they've mostly been eaten. I was trying to rescue them. I don't know. I have to plant some more. It's very annoying. And I think these are more straw flowers and a few other bits that did not quite survive my many bouts of illness this winter. And here we go, some malva. And I have some begonia, which I'm, I don't know if I planted that deep enough. And my echinacea that was eaten by slugs and I'm hoping will recover. What are these again? These are straw flower. I'll come back in here at the end of the day because all of these open up and they're so lovely when they're open. Oh, and there's some sunflowers growing there. Some more eaten uh, zinnia. I need to find the slugs and snails. I did get most of them but yeah you see there's trails slimy trails all over the plants so there's something in there 
but not right now. I will do that later. Here's another delphinium looking nice. Another delphinium and that's just the solar panel for my lights at night. Stay tuned for part two. Thank you for watching.